What is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new walkthrough series which is going to be our Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare series. And yeah everyone, I'm super excited to start this walkthrough series. This is one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time I have to say. And it is actually the first Call of Duty I ever played in, um, online. I, it's actually when I created my El Karloff username. So yeah guys, this, this game holds a lot of nostalgic, nostalgic value to me. Which is why I want to play it, and it's overall a pretty quick game, so... Anyways, let's go and start here. This will overwrite our current uh, progression that I've started already, but that's okay. Because I just want to start off here and have you guys enjoy this, so... Anyways, guys, enjoy the cutscene. Good news first. The world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia. Government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels. And 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled al -Assad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Sun. Alright everyone, so this is our first mission, FNG. one of the rifles from the table. So yeah guys, um, this game came out in 2007, it was created by Infinity Ward, and of course this is one of the most popular Call of Duties of all time I would say. It's really simple though, I'm going to just be going through these missions here quickly. I'm not going to be getting like 100% or anything, but... Um, you know what guys, I'm not going to reverse my controls for up and down. Okay, so you'll notice in this game that there's various uh, weapons, of course, from assault rifles, light machine guns, pistols, all kind of different things, sniper rifles, typical Call of Duty stuff. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, so this is kind of a cool trick here. You could lock onto different targets by tapping L1. Just like that, guys. Sweet. Now go get a sidearm from the armory. All right, so let's go get a sidearm. So this mission is just basically the first. Uh, whoops! I knifed that thing too early there. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Captain Price wants to see you. All right, guys. So yeah, now we're, as you can see, with the training facility here. There was a few glitches. Um, you could actually escape this area if you wanted to. There was a, a few glitches actually years ago that were kind of popular on YouTube. But anyways, we could also check our objective here with the start button. As you can see, we completed all of those so far. So yeah, this is... I'm not really going to give you too much of a rundown. This game has been out for years. I think it's 14 years old already. Which is hard to believe. This game was so popular when I was in high school. Go easy on him, sir. It's his first day in the regiment. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How a Muppet like you pass selection. Soap, it's your turn for the CQB test. Everyone else head to observation. For this test, you'll have to run the cargo ship solo in less than 60 seconds. Gaz holds the current squadron record at 19 seconds. Good luck. Climb the ladder over there. All right, everyone. So let's go do the ultimate test here. Our first challenge of the game. This obstacle course too, people have tried to beat the uh, the record score. It's really, it could be tricky. Alright guys, let's do it. Let's go down the rope here. Let's see if I can do it fast. Oh god, I already uh, screwed this up pretty much. <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, I didn't even need to throw a flashbang in there. Dang it. <laughs> see, as you can see, it's been years, guys, since I played this. Oh god. Uh, not bad, honestly. 32 seconds. 
You could always, if you want to do improve your score, guys, you could go back here and do it. But I'm not going to be worried about that. Mission is a go. Get yourself sorted out. Wheels up at 0200. Dismissed. Okay, we're going to go and play. I'm going to just play on regular difficulty. If you want to play on hardened, this game does get very difficult later on as you progress through the levels. One of my favorite levels in this game is in uh, Pripyat. Just on the outskirts of Chernobyl. It's really uh, awesome. So yeah, guys, let's go and do this wet work mission. Okay, so we're at the bearing straight here. Nice, crew expendable. Here we go. Oh, this game is so awesome, guys. I've been wanting to play this on my channel for years. This, by the way, this isn't the remastered version. This is for the PlayStation 3, so... Look at that. I don't know, this mission always reminded me of SOCOM US Navy SEALs, if you remember that game from the PS2. Nice, here we go. So I have to say, this is one of the coolest opening missions in a Call of Duty. Alright. I like how they created a mock of this entire level. <clears throat> Back at their headquarters. By the way, guys, there is uh, there is some data that you can collect. I think this is it. There's, yeah, enemy intelligence. Maybe I'll try to collect all 30 pieces of enemy, enemy intelligence throughout the game. I don't know, though. We'll have to see about that. Okay, guys, let's continue over here. This first episode might be 10 to 15 minutes or so. Try to keep it short. I think this series is going to be probably the same length as my Little Big Planet walkthrough series. Here we go. This is, by the way, one of my favorite multiplayer maps. This was super fun on Team Deathmatch back in the day, as well as Headquarters. So, yeah, basically, I just wanted to play this game because I. Of the nostalgic factor. Oh, watch this, guys. These guys get taken out. Ooh, look at that. Alright, guys. Those guys got totally destroyed there, as you can see. Now let's go continue this level. Of course, we got the infamous team members here. Gaz, Captain Price, and Private Fletcher. <laughs> now, he's really a nobody, but... Gaz and Captain Price are definitely the iconic legends of the Call of Duty franchise for Infinity Ward. Things do get hairy down here, guys, so we have to keep our eyes peeled. Oh, jeez. I forgot how uh, the rock of, rocking of the boat here affects affects your aiming. Jeez, that guy really destroyed me. You could also pick up the AK-47, which is one of my personal favorite weapons. I've always been a fan of the AK in Call of Duty. Ooh. Okay, let's do this. Alright, here's another piece of enemy intelligence, guys. Two of 30. All the AK-74U. That's one of my favorite submachine guns as well. Let's go around this corner. Guy tried to sneak up on us there. Okay, guys, I think we have to make it over here. Eventually, everything's going to go wrong. Go. Clear left. Clear 
side. Move. So far, so good, guys. Jeez, that could... Yeah, I was running all around here. Alright guys, so far so good. Probably should have waited for his mark there. Let's just throw a bunch of these. I think that really did some damage, guys. Look at that. Let's see, got this enemy over here. Take out a few of these guys. The hip fire is really useful with this weapon in particular. There we go. a strong reading, sir. You might want to take a look at this. Oh god, guys. It's in Arabic. Place plate, this is Bravo 6. We found it. Ready to secure package for transport. No time, Bravo 6. Two bogeys headed your way fast. Grab what you can and get the hell out of there. Fast movers. Probably mixed. We better go. So, grab the manifest in the container. Move! Oh god, guys. This is gonna be good. Alright, everyone topside. Double time. Now we gotta get the hell out of this boat. It's about to, about to go down here. Oh, jeez. Oh god, guys. Everything's going down now. Titanic style. Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's get out of here. Now's the really tricky part. Honestly, it's not too tricky. You just have to keep making your way through here. Oh, go. Almost did it. I failed several times at this level, too, when I was playing it. Back in the good old days of 2007. Let's go. There we go, we did it guys. Nice. Captain Price saved us too. Jeez, what a mission, guys. Talk about an awesome opening. Here we go, Infinity Ward presents Call of Duty 4. My favorite Call of Duty of all time. Yeah, guys, this is where El Karloff got his original beginnings, his uh, name and everything, when I created my PlayStation Network account. Okay. Now let's see what we have to complete in the next episode. Oh, jeez. I forgot about this. This is President Alfani. This mission is really crucial, guys, to the whole story. Yeah, this is uh, one of the presidents here. He's being taken. It's where everything hits the fan.
All right, so as you can see, guys, this is where we are going to pick up from the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this first episode, and stay tuned for more Call of Duty coming soon, guys.